what's up YouTube it's your girl Ashley Marie and I'm back at it with another video today um so today I'm actually going to do my first experience working at a fast food restaurant so let's just get right to it. my first job that I had was actually working at Wendy's now Wendy's was actually it was a fun job for you know just starting off and you being young um they, I only applied like the week before I got called in for an interview. My interview didn't even last that long. It lasted for about five minutes. Um, <laughs> that was really silly. Um, so it lasted for about five minutes. I ended up getting hired, of course. Um, their pay was kind of low. Like they only paid me seven thirty for an hour. That was stupid low. Crazy low. Um, um. So I came in the first day for orientation, all that. Um, now, one thing I will say is that you have to have slip resistant shoes. If you do not have slip resistant shoes, do not walk in there. I thought I had slip resistant shoes because I had a, my Adidas that I had, they had um, the special little grooves in them. So I thought, okay, maybe they're slip resistant. I walk in there and I immediately thought to myself like I am going to trip and I'm going to fall and I'm going to slip and break my neck when I'm in here and I was so nervous um so what ended up happening was I had orientation orientation lasts for about four hours and you're sitting in a super crammed up super short room uh tall tall god a small room dumb are you dumb and you're basically have you have to watch this these videos about how to clean this, how to cook this, and how to have good customer service. Basically, a rundown of what you're supposed to do when you're working there. Now, the only bad part about this is that it's so long. Like this is something that everybody has to go through, whether you're going to be a manager or anything like that. It does not matter. Everybody from the garbage man to the store manager has to go through this type of orientation. So. The orientation was okay. it was very long, it was very strenuous, it was very boring. The answers were super easy, it was just common sense. Um, after that happened, I really just was over it that first day. <laughs> so they give you, you know, your break. Um, your break is, I think it's 30 minutes, or it's, I think it's an hour. 30 minutes to an hour, I think it's 30 minutes, just to be sure, because sometimes I forget. Um, so they give you your free food that you have, whatever you want, you can have it. Um, and because you, you have to get fingerprinted later on so that you're so that you're in the system so that when you clock in, you clock out, you are the one who gets to do so. Um, it actually wasn't that difficult for me, like at all. Everything was pretty simple. The only hard part was me getting from one side of the kitchen to another without slipping and falling. So they basically have you do a couple of things. They'll, the first thing that they should put you on is fried. That is the easiest thing to do. You put the fries in the bag, pop them in the fryer, cut on the timer. When the timer comes up, lift them up, dump them, salt on them. That's it. Nuggets, you do the same thing except you don't put any salt on them. You just toss them. So... I personally, they never put me on burgers or anything like that. I was always on either the front counter or drive through. Get in! Well, at least the reason why, as far as they told me, was because of the way that I speak. I speak clearly, I articulate my words well, and, you know, being in the country, <laughs> it's very hard for me to understand you know what some people are saying so me speaking to them clearly helps them look good in a way because I talk like this and is there anything else I'm very nice I'm very polite everybody else is not really that way um I would say that drive through was the most fun for me drive through was the most fun because you got to you're multitasking you're going you're doing things super duper quick everything's going by fast sometimes um it was pretty good like I like that I was kind of okay with the dine-in um, experience. It was alright. Like, you know, I wasn't really a fan. 
personally because I was really in their face like you had to do with breath and people smelling bad and they're all in your face because I'm tired of your gay old ass and his gay ass talking to me like I'm dumb bitch I didn't order fries I ordered ice cream dumbass how am I waiting on fries to get done and I I'm very stern and I can be very aggressive bye Felicia the customer service can be good and bad it just depends on who you have that day okay it really does depend because some people come in and come with a bad attitude they come in rushing they come damn it they just get on their lunch break so they hurry up and come they try to come and eat and leave or try to take their food and leave and then the things some of the things that they order take the longest out of everything on the menu to make like I had one lady who ordered a Dave's triple and that takes a long time because everything is like everything like that is cooked to order now. So when I she asked me how long it would take for me to, you know, how long it would take to make, and I was like, uh, well, I'll go in the back and ask. And he said it's gonna take about seven minutes. Now she was she was upset, and I didn't really care, you know, because you know that's not really my problem. That's the chef's problem. I just have to take her order, get her money, and put her order in. That's just it. So I didn't take offense to her attitude. Some things you just cannot take personally. Unless they are they get personal with you, there is no reason why you should be upset about anything at all. Now, the only part, and the only part that sucks is when you're working uh, for the dine-in people and the people from the drive-thru who might have gotten something wrong come in and complain to you and tell you about it. That is the worst that is the worst thing that can happen to you because seriously they have like serious anger issues, they have a serious attitude, they're already upset. Um, and toward the nighttime, we run out of things because we can only have so much in one day. We can only distribute out so much in one day without, you know, having to restock and then we have to take account for them later. So they get upset when they don't have certain things. We run out of drinks because in the morning that's when they do it they the, they do all the restocking for um, like the fountain drinks because we don't do that. People come in to do that. Or people come in for the bread and all that type of stuff. So we don't have to worry about those things. Those are just the uh, the vendors who do that. Um, but other than that, I would just suggest for you to be nice. Always have a smile like this thing all the time because you know what? Even if they're upset at you, I'd rather see somebody. I'd rather be mad at somebody and seeing them smile at me than for them to give attitude back to me you know it's hard working in there it's hot it's steamy it's grease everywhere you get sometimes you get oil spills it's food all over the floor it can be really messy some of the people you might not like some of some people's standards are different like you know all restaurants are different um so i will have more videos up of my second job and my third job that i had worked which was also fast food, but it was a little bit different. So I'm going to do a Starbucks video. After my Starbucks video, I'm going to do my Big Chick video. And that is the end of my video. Peace out. Peace and love. And tranquility. I love you. Thank you for watching. Can I take a dive in your ocean? I'm drowning, 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 drowning.